In this video we are going to show the latest update for Ot Isles plugin. This new update does not have any new features or options, but it addressed some known issues with the current versions of 3DS Max. The first problem that we fixed in this new update is with the 3D snapping when creating a new object. With the old versions, with 3D snap turned on, for the first point there is no visual confirmation of the selected vertex or grid point. For example if we start from this vertex, only for the third point we can see that the 3D snap is working, with a little cross that indicates the vertex of the model that we are selecting. By pressing and holding the ALT key on the keyboard, here you can also align the tilt angle of the roof tiles to the roof plane. The second issue that we are fixing is with the placement of the object's parameters in the Create and Modify panels. Now if we try to modify some of the parameters of the selected object, and the Modify panel is whiter than normal, we'll see that all the parameters are moved to the right, and some of them are not accessible, and cannot be set. This misalignment is an issue for almost all rollouts. Until now the solution was to deselect the object, and then select it again, then the UI rollouts and parameters will be drawn correctly. In this update these problems and other small bugs are now fixed. You can install the new version 2.63 only with our new Avis Studio tools all in one application, and it will work with all 3DS Max versions from 2018 to 2023. For older versions of 3DS Max use the previous version of the plugin. Once installed, to configure the application go to App Store menu, Avis Studio Tools menu, Setup option. In the new setup dialog, we can select the latest version, and then press the load button to activate it. With the new version loaded, we can delete the old object and check that the problems that we demonstrate are now fixed. When we start creating a new object, the 3D snapping now is working as expected. To confirm this, we can turn it off and then back on to check the difference. The UI elements and parameters in all rollouts are drawn correctly. In the Modify panel the UI element are centered, and even when we change the width, all parameters remain visible. From the new Avis Studio Tools application setup, we can always go back to older version, if we need to work on old project, and we do not want to update all Atile scene objects to the newest version of the plugin. This new version will be available as free update for the current Autiles Pro users, but now you can buy a subscription plan for all our tools and use Autiles Pro without buying individual product license. All next versions of the plugin will be only available with a subscription. For more information for our new installer and application, you can check the links in the video description or go to avisstudio.com, tools, AIO section. If it's not too much trouble, please consider sharing this video and subscribe to our channel to be notified when we have new products or updates for Avis Studio Tools. Thank you for watching.